Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Louis. I wanted to make a video about phrasal verbs because they're very hard to understand. A phrasal verb is a phrase consisting of a verb and a preposition that has an idiomatic meaning. Idiomatic, that means it has a meaning which is not obvious. So you need to learn the meaning separately from just looking at the verb. Because the verb doesn't always tell you what the phrasal verb means and how it's used. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the following phrasal verbs hold back, draw up, step down, pass on, make up, jump at, go along with, rule out, opt for, and vamp up. First, I should tell you that the video in the top corner of the screen has nothing to do with the meaning of the phrasal verb. I just wanted to put that video there so you can have something interesting and peaceful to look at while you're learning. So I just put videos of nature. The first verb is hold back. Now this means to prevent something or someone from moving forward or making progress. How do we uh, use this? So, for example, if your favorite team, say your favorite basketball team, won the championship, you could say, I couldn't hold back my excitement. Now, if you are watching a sad movie and you feel yourself start to cry, you could say, I tried to hold back tears, but I couldn't. So I hope that makes the meaning of hold back clear. Next one, draw up. This means to prepare a document. I asked her to draw up the contract before our meeting. We spent all day drawing up the necessary documents. So these phrasal verbs can be conjugated to different tenses. In the second example, we can see it's in the present continuous. We spent all day drawing up. Step down to leave an official position or job. Say your boss at your company got sick and he had to leave his position. You would say, my boss had to step down due to a health issue. What if the people of a country were angry at the government? You might say, the people wanted to see the president step down after so many scandals and corruption. Pass on, pass on. This means to decline an invitation or opportunity. So for example, if you wrote a movie and you gave it to a movie studio, but the movie studio did not like it, you might say, I gave the studio my movie script, but the executives decided to pass on it. Another example, she offered me a job, but I decided to pass on it. I didn't like the job, so I passed on it. Make up, to invent a story, explanation, or excuse. So you could say, is that a true story or did you make it up? Um, you can also make up your mind. And remember the past tense of make up is made up. So the second sentence says, she made up her mind to tell her boss that she couldn't come to work because she was sick. So when you make up your mind, it means that you decide 
to do something. In this case, she decided to explain to her boss that she was not coming to work. She made up her mind to jump at is to accept an opportunity. What's that adverb for accept? To eagerly accept an opportunity. I jumped at the opportunity to teach English abroad. Um, we would jump at the opportunity to meet our idol. This means an opportunity comes and we accept it and we're very happy to accept it. We eagerly accept. To opt for means to choose something from a few different options. So say you go to a restaurant and you look at the menu and there's a lot of good stuff on the menu. You could say, the restaurant had a lot of options, but I opted for spaghetti. And last night, what did you do? You had a lot of options. You could have done a lot of things. You could say, last night we opted for the cinema rather than the cafe. To vamp up. That means to improve something and make it more attractive. So say my local city government has been trying to improve the city recently. You could say my city has been vamping up the downtown area recently. Say you don't like your kitchen. It's old. It's not nice, not pretty. You could say, well, here's a book and this book contains simple tips as to how you can vamp up your kitchen. Go along with. That means to accept or agree with something. So if somebody tells you uh, their opinion on a local news or politics or something like that, but you don't agree, you could say, I'm sorry, but I cannot go along with that. I cannot. We cannot accept or agree. Also, um, if there's some government regulations, but a company does not want to follow that, you could say, the company refused to go along with the government regulations. Rule out, to decide that something is not possible or suitable. Rule out. So we are ruling out the option of war. So maybe the government or the people think that war is not suitable, not possible. So they will rule it out. Imagine you want to move to a new city like Vancouver. You might say, I'm not sure if I will move to Vancouver, but I haven't ruled it out. By the way, Vancouver is a great city. You should move there. So those are the phrasal verbs for today. Hold back, draw up, step down, pass on, make up, jump at, go along with, rule out, opt for, vamp up. So I'm going to post uh, these verbs in the video description with the definition. So you can check it out and review. And I think I will make this into a weekly video series. So this is lesson one of phrasal verbs. I hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something cool and have a nice day and good luck with your English studying.